The commission worked from a master list of 827 cases, persons accused of war crimes between 1939 and 1945, and all suspected of hiding in Canada. In two years of hearings, the commission found that many had died. Some never entered Canada. Some did not even exist. And in many cases, there was little or no evidence against them. But the commission wants to keep the files open on 238 cases, where suspicion still lingers and more evidence is needed. And of that number, on an immediate basis, the commission wants to move urgently on 20 cases. The government says it will act. The justice minister proposes amendments to Canada's criminal code to allow prosecution of suspected war criminals. The problem of war criminals should, wherever possible, be dealt with here in Canada, and every case must be resolved in a manner consistent with Canadian standards of law and evidence. The Duchesne Commission was established in 1985 after reports that the infamous Auschwitz camp doctor, Josef Mengele, had used Canada as an escape route to South America. The Commission found no evidence at all that Mengele was ever here, nor had he even applied to enter. Blanket accusations against all members of a Ukrainian SS division which fought alongside the Germans against the Soviets were also dismissed. But we were not fighting civilians. We were not at the concentration camp. We were not fighting, you know, somewhere that we are blamed for. The Duchesne Commission had one other piece of advice for the government. Do whatever is necessary to prosecute war criminals, but try not to reopen old war wounds. Try not to upset the internal peace that exists between the various ethnic communities that make up this country. Bob Evans, CTV News, Ottawa.